This is Delgar the Casual Gamer bringing you my very first Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, not really gameplay, but I just wanted to share a few tips with you if you're playing Advanced Warfare or you're thinking of playing Advanced Warfare. I've been having a lot of fun playing the game so far. I'm terrible at it, just I'm terrible at it. I'm, I haven't gotten used to it yet, but it's still a ton of fun. But what I wanted to show with you is if you're a terrible player at the game like I am, there are some ways that you can actually get some kill streaks in the game because there's basically a support system like, let's not say Call of Duty Ghost, but like Modern Warfare 3. Like Modern Warfare 3, there is a hidden support system that allows you to basically get your score streaks by earning points that will continue on through deaths. And the way that you can do that is if you go into your creative class and you pick your class and you move over to your score streak. Now, earlier on, what happens is uh, you can basically pick your score streaks, you know, uh, whichever ones you want. There's only four that allow the support option. That's the aerial recon drone, the UAV, the orbital care package, and the remote turret. The rest you you have to earn like normal uh, score streaks, like normal assault score score streaks. Your score streaks do count against your pick 13, so you can play without any score streaks at all and just take more perks and extra launcher abilities and stuff like that. However, if you want to take score streaks and you want to be able to earn score streaks but you're a terrible player, you can definitely use this option. Earlier on, however, you can't because you have to level a little ways before you can actually modify. There are three, you can add three modifiers in total to any score streak in your early levels you can't modify any so you have to wait until you, you earn a few levels first and the way that you do that is you choose a score streak and then you press Y on the Xbox one I'm not sure what it is on the PS4 then you just, just go in and you select the different options that you want and at the bottom you can see support it adds an extra 400 points to the score streak uh, that's the cost that it would be so normally the score streak would be 350 but you add the support option it's now 750 but all the points that you earn even after you die are basically cumulative towards the support streaks. So if you add extra modifiers like uh, let's say increased lifetime and uh, flash marking, this will now cost 950 score, but even if you die, you'll still add towards the streak. So you could basically you know, lock, fill up your bar with uh, support streaks. The UAV is a good one. Enemy detection is sort of like a VSAT, Basically, it will show the direction, um, and then you can add the uh, the speed option, which basically would update the mini map faster. So it's sort of like a uh, it's sort of like a VSAT, but it can be shot down at this point because it's like a regular UAV. Not everyone will show up though, because if they do have the low profile perk, they will not show up. So there is no there is no orbital VSAT or Blackbird in this game, which will show you everyone on the map. So that is going to make things a little different. So uh, I've been running the UAV a lot. I haven't been running the aerial recon drone very much. The remote turret is another one where you can add support. And with the remote turret, let me just uh, go over the remote turret again. The remote turret on its own is a manually controlled high powered turret. So I I've heard some people complaining about the, you know, the turret not killing anyone. Well, because if you're not controlling it, it's not going to kill anyone unless you choose the sentry option. You have to choose the sentry option on your remote turret if you want it to automatically fire at people. So if you add the sentry option, support, and say give it a 360 degree rotation, it'll cost you 1450 points to bring this in. The plus side is, even if you die, you're still working towards this score. Uh, that's still quite a lot of points though, because if you look at the, you know, the highest kill streak in the game is only 950. And 950, if you're playing a game of Kill Confirm, that's still, you know, that's at least 10 kills and 10 confirms, right? Something like that. Uh, in Team Deathmatch, that would be uh, 10 kills. Uh, I can't remember what the uh, score is in Domination. I haven't played a lot of Domination. Basically, I just wanted to show you that there are some options for you terrible players out there like me that you can get skill kill streaks. There's only four available to you that have the support option. 
And what you could do is, if you want to say run a standard three kill streak package, you could add like one or two of these support streaks, and then you know throw in something fun that you're trying to trying to go for if you maybe get lucky. You, usually, uh, I don't usually run my care package as support. I just usually throw the care package in as one of the streaks if I have a full three kill streaks. And usually, I just run a UAV. I have classes where I just have yeah. See, I have a class where I, you know I just run UAV. Recently, I've been uh, going after the system hack, which really messes up players. It's actually a really good streak. It's sort of like an EMP, except it only affects the players with the base streak. If you add the disable streaks, um, disable exosuit, so they wouldn't be able to do, I believe, boost jump, boost slide, any of their abilities. So it's, it's a really powerful streak. And uh, it's a fun streak. Yeah, you're going to probably see a lot of, of this streak because... Most of the streaks in the game require manual targeting. So there's no set it and forget it sort of streak. A remotely piloted vehicle, manually controlled. It's, uh, you know, there's, there's no streaks where you can just call it in. And I know a lot of the really good Call of Duty players basically would pick streaks that would allow them to have streaks in the air while they're still running around running and gunning and so there's not a lot of those streaks in this game so you know basically make sure you look through your score streaks you can get up to four if you take the wild card if you want more streaks you could have all four of those support streaks in your in your package and you know basically call in uavs aerial care package and sentry turrets there's a lot of options in this game so take your time Go through it and have fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, Delgar out.